Hey guys, it's Baseplay12, or Mitch as you guys know me. So today is the first day I'm going to work at my school. So California, we got into uh, a tier or a color where it's safe to have us open up. So we're not necessarily opening up completely. We're on a hybrid schedule. So it's, it's not much. It's an hour and a half after lunch. Um, and I go Monday, Tuesday with a, a group, and then I go Thursday, Friday with a group, and then Wednesday where we're just staying all virtual. So what I thought I would do today is take you into my class to let you know what safety precautions we're taking and what it looks like. And yeah, today's a, a pretty monumental day because it's been over a year since I've actually been able to teach at our campus. So it's just crazy. and. For a lot of students, it's the first day of school of 2021. Um, a good amount of students chose not to go back just because of the time that, you know, their parents might not be able to drop them off at school because it's after lunch. And some might have stayed home just because they don't feel safe yet. So let's go. Okay, wow, I am overwhelmed by how crazy my back room is. So again, the story is when everything shut down, we had very little time to get stuff cleaned up. You know, usually I'll have a week or two to kind of prepare and get stuff put away. But it was, hey, everybody, the schools are going to close, you know, get your stuff packed up. So it was a definite hurried job. Hey, there's the Rubik's Cube solver. That's the one robot we, one of the few that we didn't take apart. There's a Wally. And for those of you that remember the race car, there's the race car, the robot arm, some uh, into orbit stuff, my collection of wheels. Uh, got some Vex stuff too. Sensors. So it's one of those things where it's so messy, you kind of just sit there and look at it all. Like, where do I even begin to try to clean this up? But it's just good to be back to be able to even have that problem. So it's one of those things where I think I'll just take a section a day, like this section one day, this section another day. You know, you have to just take small little bites or else you just become overwhelmed. Okay, so in my room, we have this big plexiglass thing. I don't think I'm going to be walking around with that. You know, going up to each student behind this thing. I think my mask is fine. It would just be weird, right? For me to come up to you and say, hey, how are things going? You need help with your robot? Okay, no, you don't? Okay. I get it, you know, they're trying to be safe and everything, but that would make somebody feel like they had, you know. Ah. Okay, so my room has a hand sanitizer station. That's kind of cool, you know, just making it real easy. And then outside, we have a hand washing station out there. So it has soap and water. And then lots of cleaning supplies. So I saw this box in my room and I thought it was robotics. I got all excited. Um, but when I opened it up, it is, these are partitions. So if a student feels comfortable or I guess doesn't feel comfortable with the setup, then they can ask for this partition to be put up. So it looks like that. So I guess they're just covering all of their bases here, making sure that students feel safe and comfortable. Okay guys, so a pretty successful first day back. Um, it's a mix of feeling weird about wearing a mask in class, having, um, you know, having the thoughts about who's touching what and 
you know, am I getting too close uh, within a certain amount of distance? So it's just one of those things where it's hard, um, but definitely felt good to be back. Felt good to have students in person rather than looking at a screen. So, you know, is our school all the way back? No, but it's a nice step forward and, you know, it's April, so I'm hoping by the fall, we're all back and we'll, we'll just have to see how that goes. So thanks for taking this little short journey with me on my first day back to the classroom, guys. You have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.